How are you, my friends? This video is presenting eight old exams questions related to rational functions. Now, rational functions is lecture 39, the last lecture in the algebra course. Question number one, we have the rational function t of x, 2x minus 22 divided by x minus 5. Let's find everything, the stretching, the shifting, the domain and range the vertical and horizontal asymptote. Easy way to do that is we can make simple synthetic division, two and minus two for the function, and then divide by five, bring two down, five times two is 10, we get minus 12. So this is the quotient, this is the remainder. So in the, instead of this function here, the given function t, I can make two, that's the quotient, see the quotient here, plus the remainder minus 12 divided by x minus five. So I can see here vertical stretching, 12, factor of 12. And then I can see reflection in the x-axis because of the minus. I can see five units to the right from x minus five and two units up. Then I can graph it easily, starting with one over x. I do all these transformations. I will get the vertical asymptote x equals five and the horizontal y equals two. Easily I can find x intercept and y intercept. So the domain will be all the real numbers except the five, the vertical, and the range all the real numbers except the y, which is horizontal asymptote, y equals two. Find all the asymptotes of these functions. Each one we have to factor first, See, I put on one slide both part A and part B. Easily factor this one x minus two x plus five. Make sure the factoring is correct. And here we have x squared minus four x squared plus four. More we can factor the difference between two squares. Then we can cancel x minus two. That's a missing point, remember. So the, the final answer for the function is x plus five over x plus two x squared plus four. This cannot be zero. So we have only the vertical asymptote x equals minus two. Since the degree here is one and the degree here is cube, so we have horizontal asymptote y equals zero. That's a rule and no oblique. For the second one, we have squared, which is the degree is higher. So I can divide by long division, two x squared minus five x divided by two x plus three. And then I need the quotient here. For slant asymptote, use quotients only. So when you divide the highest power, 2x squared divided by 2x, you get x. And then x times 2x would be 2x squared plus 3x. Change the sign because we subtract. This will be canceled. That will be minus 8x. Minus 8x divided by 2x is minus 4. And then here the remainder 12. We don't need the remainder. We take the quotient. So y equals x minus four is the slant or the oblique. No horizontal here and the vertical take the denominator equals zero, x will be minus three over two. Now let's graph this function and find the domain and range. x minus three over x squared minus three x. Good advice, I said it before. If you have a rational function, try to factor up and down and see if there is any missing point. Now if we look at the uh, question number three, we need to factor up and down. So we leave x minus three and we have x, x minus three down, cancellation, x minus three. When we have one over x, x cannot be three. So there is one hole or one missing point in the graph. You know one over x is the basic rational function. So the vertical asymptote is x equals zero and the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero, no oblique, this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, and see the three, if you replace it in the function, after we simplify it, it will be one over three. So this point exactly three, comma one over three, this point is the whole, is the missing point. Now the domain, all the real numbers, except the vertical asymptotes, the zero, and the missing point, the x of the missing point, and the range. 
all the real numbers except the horizontal asymptote, which is zero here, and the y from the missing point zero and one over three. Now, if this rational function, there is a variable here m and n we have to find. If this rational function has horizontal asymptote minus two, find 10m times n. So if we have a horizontal, y equals minus two, then we have to take a leading coefficient over leading. We see here power two, and here there is no power two. So this power is higher. See the power higher means there is an oblique, right? But it says there is horizontal. That means no oblique here. So we just take the trick here is m minus one is equal to zero. So m will be one. Now the horizontal, we take the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. Five over n is equal to minus two given. So n will be minus five over two. So if you multiply 10 mn, 10 times one times minus five over two, you get minus 25. This is interesting where the graph of this rational function is above the x-axis. So we have to graph it. The advice, remember the advice to graph a rational function or to do anything, even to find asymptotes, it's better to check if there is any cancellation. So we factor the numerator, we see x squared plus three x plus two. You see it's already half factored there. You can factor it more x plus two, x plus one. We see x plus one is canceled and we have to write x cannot be minus one. So what's left is x minus two, x plus two, which is x squared minus four. So we have a parabola here. See the graph is a parabola missing one point. There is a hole there. How do you find this hole from the cancellation? That's the x minus one. Put minus one there, so you get minus three. So that's the hole here. So the domain, domain will be all the numbers except the minus one, the x here is missing. And the range will be from minus four without the missing point, it will be minus four to infinity. With the missing point also minus four to infinity because we have another minus three there from the one, you see? So we are taking the other minus three from this one. One minus three, that's a point on the graph. Where the graph is above the x, for sure you need x intercept here. So from minus infinity to minus two union, two to infinity, that's the answer above the x axis. If this, the graph of this rational function has horizontal asymptote y equals one and two vertical asymptotes uh, minus three and one, find a times b times c, multiple choice. Now the function has horizontal so that means the leading coefficient LC of the numerator, one over A is equal to one. So A will be one. So finish now, A is one. Function has two vertical asymptotes, X minus three, X one. So let's find the factors there and multiply them, X squared plus two X minus three. So we can write the function now as X squared plus one over this X squared plus two X minus three. So we see A one, B is two and C is minus three. When you multiply all of them, you get minus six. And the answer is A, yes. This one, we have the graph given, but remember the question says the graph of this rational function, the function is written in this form, AX plus C divided by one minus BX. Find C to the power A plus B. So first look at the function at the graph and then Look at the function also, see the form. So you have to find the function and then compare it with the given form. So from the graph here, this is a small graph. From the graph, we see the vertical is at, at one. So X equals one. So the denominator will be X minus one. So I will start in this function and then I will compare at the end with ABC. So I will write here X minus one, see the denominator here vertical x equals one, and I will write mx plus n. Now the horizontal is y equals minus one, you see there? So m over one, the leading coefficient over the leading coefficient, so m will be minus one. Now I can see the x intercept is minus three. So minus three and zero, so I can replace it in my function here. So zero for the y, you see, 
and minus 3 for the x. Even I put x here, minus 3, it will be multiplied by 0. Remember? So uh, n will be minus 3. So now I can write my function here will be minus x. You see, the m is minus 1. Minus 3 over x minus 1. Now he needs, in this one, look at here, we need ax plus c. So I can multiply up and down by minus 1. So it becomes x plus 3, 1 minus x. Now you compare this with the given ax plus c. So a is 1, and b down, 1 minus bx, here 1 minus x. So b is 1 also. c is the 3, positive 3. So c is 3 to the power 1 plus 1. So the answer is nine, which is the D is the nine, yes. Now here we have the equation of a rational function with vertical asymptote x equals four and the horizontal asymptote y equals minus one, x intercept three, zero, and a hole at x equals zero. Let's find the function without the graph. Just you have to build, you know, building, like build the function by taking each asymptote, the x intercept and a hole. Whole means there's a cancellation up and down by x. Let's see how we can build it. So try to build the function using the given. The rational function has a vertical asymptote x equals four, you see from the given. So I can write here y equals ax plus b divided by x minus four. The function also has a horizontal asymptote at y equals minus one. So it will be minus x over x. Now use x intercept three zero, so I can say y is uh, zero and x is three. So I can find here b will be three. Function has a hole, see hole, so I put x and x as if, I, as if there is a, a cancellation. So minus x squared, see there, and then three x. And here we have x squared minus four x. If you compare that, it will be the answer e, three x, minus x squared over x squared minus 4x. So the answer is E. Now, these are the answers only for these questions that we have done, the eight of them. For other examples, please, if you want to see more and more examples and more explanation, you can see the uh, video on algebra course lecture 39, Rational Functions, the last lecture in the course. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you for listening.